Okay, please find a relaxed and comfortable posture. Keep your back straight and gently close your eyes. Take a few deep, peaceful breaths. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in peacefully, breathe out peacefully. Same time, relax your body from the top of your head to low of your toes. And observe each part of your body and make sure to relax. Get comfortable with your posture. You are always feel free to move your body around, change your posture whenever you need. Always be mindful and be gentle when you are changing your posture, moving your body around. Today, since you are waking up, I hope you are having a beautiful, peaceful day, or maybe not. Maybe many things happen happening today. Maybe you have many plans for tomorrow. But in this moment, you all are here. As a noble community, sitting here peacefully, trying to practice, trying to spend peaceful, relaxed, meaningful time with yourself. Therefore, in this moment, if you are carrying anything which is bothering to you right now, With kind and compassion, please leave that everything behind you. Let's bring your attention to this moment without carrying anything, with having light, peaceful mind. If you are not having a relaxed, peaceful mind, it might take a few moments to get comfortable with your practice, with your posture, with this environment.
mindfully observe the peacefulness the stillness around you in this room and let's start our practice let's develop loving friendliness thoughts towards yourself please think each words and same time try to understand the deep meaning of the each words make sure to apply them to daily life may i learn to forgive and accept myself may i be content may i be patient may i learn to care for myself with joy and ease if you find one interesting word that you really like you can keep repeat it to yourself over and over with kind and compassion
May I be content. May I be patient. May I be healthy. If you are truly love yourself, you are never going to judge yourself. You are never going to compare yourself to others. You are always accept who you are. You are always kind, patient and diligent with yourself. With having those words in your mind, keep continuing your self-loving kindness practice. Now slowly and mindfully bring someone to your mind that you really like. Or you can bring someone to your mind who needs your blessings, your kindness, your wishes in this moment. Maybe someone in your family who needs your thoughts right now. Maybe some random people. And think, may my special friend, family member, loved one, be filled with loving kindness. May he or she be strong and healthy mentally and physically. At the same time, you can think of your loved ones, your friends, family members, sisters or brothers, your parents, husband or wife, girlfriend or boyfriend, even though your pets. Send loving kindness towards all of them. My loved ones, be filled with loving kindness. May they be well in mind and body. May they be able to take care of themselves happily.
Now you can send a loving kindness beyond this room, beyond this county, beyond this country, all over the world. There are thousands of thousands of people are having a hard time because of the war, because of the natural disasters. Sometimes you feel you want to help them, but you can't. You can't physically be there to help them. Sometimes you feel frustrated. If you feel like that, you can just sit, you can think of them. You can practice your unconditional love. May all the living beings be safe and protected. May they be able to find peaceful and healthy environments. May they be able to take care of themselves happily. Now it is time to think of difficult ones, if you have any in your life. If you have anyone that you don't like, you don't like how way they talk, how way they behave, you don't even want to see them, But in order to change them, you have to work hard. Eventually you get tired. You will get tired. But it is so much easier to change yourself how way you think. It is also not easy. You need practice. That's why you are here. With having that intention, you can practice loving thoughts towards difficult ones if you have any. May my difficult people be filled with loving kindness. May they be well in mind and body. May they be able to find noble friends, noble guidance. Now mindfully and gently, take a few deep long breaths. 
breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. And also it is perfect time to change your posture, move your body around if you want. It is always important to find your peaceful, relaxed posture. With finding a, finding a perfect posture, let's focus on your breath. Without forcing your breath, controlling your breath, pay your attention on your inner and outer breath. Just allows your body to breathe naturally. Keep your attention to the tip of your nose. Whenever you are get distracted by your thoughts, sounds, sensations, you can take a few deep long breaths and come back to your practice. At the same time, you might having many thoughts, like an ocean. When you go to ocean, the waves, one after one, one after one. Your mind is same. You can't stop having thoughts. Whenever you are having thoughts, just know you are having thoughts. With having these instructions, let's start our practice. Breathe in mindfully, breathe out mindfully.
Breathe in mindfully. Breathe out mindfully. When you are inhaling, you know that your body is inhaling. When you are exhaling, you know that your body is exhaling. If you are clearly focused on your breath, you can see the difference. Long breath in and out, short breath in and out. If you see long breath, think I am having long breath. If you see short breath, understand I am having short breath. Breathe in mindfully and breathe out mindfully. <clears throat> Breathe in mindfully, breathe out mindfully.
Now slowly and mindfully observe your mind. Your mind is relaxed and peaceful. Maybe you are having a peaceful time, relaxed time. You are having a goodness. Or maybe not. It is different than other days. But still, you can be happy, be grateful and appreciate your time, commitment. Usually we are running around mentally and physically, we are having a busy lifestyle. But in this moment it is completely different. You dedicated your time to sit with yourself to practice, which is beautiful. Therefore, in this moment, with having that appreciation, remind yourself, this is your practice time. Whenever you go outside, there are many moments will come to you to apply your practice. There are many moments are waiting for you Whenever you approach those difficult situations, make sure to be mindful. Make sure to you apply your tools, which is your practice. Otherwise, you are just sitting here and practicing, nothing happening. You have to put them to work. With having that thoughts, please bring your hands together in front of your heart. Make a commitment to yourself to apply this practice every day, whenever you need. May not any difficulties come to you, may not any dangers come to you. May you be well, happy and peaceful. May all the living beings be well, be happy, be peaceful. Thank you so much. Slowly open your eyes. Okay, let's start our chanting practice, page number four. <coughs> <clears throat> Let's chant together. Namo tas bhagavato arhato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arhato Samma Sambuddhas Namo Thas Bhagavato Arhato Samma Sam Buddhan Saranang Gachami Dhamman Saranang Gachami Sanghan Saranang Gachami Dutiyampi Buddhan Saranang Gachami Dutiyampi Dhamman Saranang Dutiyampi Sanghan Saranang Tati ampe buddhan saranang gachami Tati ampe dhammang Tati ampe sanghang saranang gachami 
अनेचावत संखारा उपाद वाय धमिनो उपाजित्वा निरुचांति सबे सत्ता सबे सत्ता अभ्यापज्जाहुंतु सबे सत्ता अनिगाहुंतु सबे सत्ता सुखी अत्ता नंग परिहारंतु मनो पुबंग माधमा मनो सेता मनो माया मन साचे पदुचेन बासती वा खारोती वा ततो नंदुक्ह मन वेति चक्कांग वाहतो पदं पुबंग माधमा मनो सेता मनो माया मन साचे पसाने न भासती वा खारोती वा ततो नंसुख मन वेति चायाब अनपायने मन इस द फॉरेन ऑफ स्टेट्स मन इस चीप वन शुड आज स्पीक ऑफ एक्ट्स सफरिंग फॉलोस कास बाय दैट just as the wheel follow the axis of mind is chief mind made are they if it a clear and confident mind one should i this speak or acts happiness follows cause by that we believe we believe in generosity towards others we believe the skillful noble path is marked by generosity we believe generosity has many levels think generously speak generously act generously we believe generosity is the heart of our spiritual practice and this accepting and forgiving we believe extending generosity to my wish may i become at all times both now and forever a protector for those without protection a guide for those who have lost their way a ship for those with an ocean to cross a sanctuary for those in danger Okay good evening everyone how are you today it's very happy to see you all and thank you for being here uh, how was your meditation today you had a good time so did you notice anything i mean today i practiced longer than other days did you notice that do you do you like it or not <laughs> actually i intentionally practice alone usually we practice around 30 minutes today it was around 35 to 40 minutes 
So um, I remember when I was a little monk in our monastery, we had to wake up at 4.30. I'm, most of the time I'm telling you these stories. 4.30, we have to wake up no matter what. If I'm, if I'm sick, I can. Sometimes uh, I want to skip waking up 4.30 early in the morning. So there's a one monk. He, he had to go to each room to check everyone. So if I'm not up at 4.30, so I'm in trouble. So I had to wake up 4.30. There's a small bell um, in an area. Someone is ringing that bell around 40, 50 times early in the morning at, at 4.30. So it's mean time to wake up. So I used to do that job for a few years. It, it was funny early in the morning ringing the bell. So um, then uh, once in a while, not once in a while actually, once a month, we had to wake up at 3. I didn't like that day. So the day is coming, I know, I, I'm, I'm always very nervous. I, I didn't like waking up three, three in the morning. So uh, then uh, after around 3.30, we have a little breakfast. So we all the monks, we have to go to a huge, there's a big hall. We all together, we practice. Uh, it was around 4.30 to 5.30, almost an hour early in the morning, imagine. So I, I was a little monk. I was maybe that time around 11, 12 or 13. I didn't like at all. So, but I, I didn't have an option. I had to go and practice. So um, once a month we did that. And also once a month, uh, there's a very famous meditation retreat uh, center close by our temple. So we go there and we spend whole day. It was uh, it was such a nice day. It was it is a beautiful one uh, meditation center. Most of the foreigners, people who live around the world, they go to that place to meditate. That place, no electricity. Um, even though back in the days no Wi-Fi, so I think now they have uh, solars. But it's very beautiful, top of the mountain. So uh, once a month we went to that place, and th there was. Uh, there were many, a uh, few different uh, forest monasteries. We used to go to those places to spend whole day. So that's how our teacher he uh, for, uh, he forced and also he pushed us to learn about meditation. But back in the days, when I was little, I I didn't enjoy that all. But um, now I like it. So so I am I'm enjoying it now. Uh, so after I moved here, I didn't even realize how meditation is popular here. It's very popular. I, I didn't even notice that. Even though here, the spirituality is popular. When I'm thinking about that, the, that my mind is thinking about the Buddhist time. If you are going to study the uh, during the Buddhist time in India, that time people uh, practiced, they followed to find peace, balance, the enlightenment, or whatever it is called. There were 64 uh, beliefs, paths. Still in India, it is many diff diff different religions, uh, religions, the teachings, same. When I think about here, the United States, I feel like the same, because th there are many, many directions that people can go and find happiness, balance, uh, peace to their life. So this is uh, another place. So if you come to the temple, there are many different roads. There are fastest road, the slowest road, um, some country roads. There are many roads to get here. The same like uh, the spirituality here also same. So you come to here to learn and practice, and uh, less less uh, Saturday. We had a funeral service at the temple. Uh, the people who was here, uh, I think we had almost 100 people. One person, he, he's come to the temple. Rest of the people, it was their first time. So uh, then uh, they were kind of nervous, some people to talk to us, because I think they were, it was their first time seeing monks or seeing a temple. Uh, but most of them told us, we were driving by the temple, but we wanted to come, but we didn't want to come. Sometimes people really want to come. They were they are they are very nervous, and they don't know how what to expect 
in from inside maybe you had the same feelings the first day when you were here so um then there was a, a guy who asked a nice question uh, what what you are doing what you are teaching here so uh, then um, even though you notice from from the months from the years being here we never asked you to be a buddhist did did we ask no it it, it is not my business <laughs> we never asked that so we never convert anyone to be a buddhist so you come to here to learn something to your life you come to here to uh, develop your wisdom then you are going to your home and you are applying them to your life so that's when i see those um, uh, stories when i hear those stories from the people it is always um, inspiring us to teach you something always new so um, but what i am going to teach what i am going to share with you today it's it's the same idea practice so we come here and practice and there are many ways that we can uh, Uh, apply these teachings to your daily life so maybe you remember this book uh, i think um, one sunday one one monday i was telling you this book so how to focus <clears throat> i don't think so we have at the bookstore we have series of book uh, by tiknathan there's a one called how to love how to fight how to eat uh, i think there are few others so this book is really really nice it has very simple very simple messages so today what i'm going to do i'm going to read the first two chapters so please uh, listen in to me mindfully okay because of my my uh, pronunciation maybe my accent is different you might not understand clearly so if you are having uh, trouble uh, listening to me please let me know i will repeat the words again okay so this has really beautiful message the title is attention and happiness are connected what do you think about it the title attention and my, uh, happiness are connected make a big sign on your door okay so um, what it is saying here mindfulness is the miracle that can restore wholeness to our dis dispersed mind calling it back to calling it back so we can live fully each moment of life mindfulness always brings concentration and concentration brings insight when you drink your cup of tea if you are concentrate and you focus your attention on it then the cup of tea becomes a great joy for you mindfulness and concentration brings about not only insight but happiness as well any any thoughts about this little press little, little chapter did you understand it okay it's mean you you got it so what do you think about it Yes, you right. <clears throat> so first two words you said were attention and happiness. Attention and happiness are connected. Oh, yeah, it's very interesting uh, title. So I remember someone was telling here uh, maybe Bhante Sujata or maybe one of monk uh, we made choices in our life. Come to hear your choice. uh be a monk it was my choice so i wanted to be a monk when i was uh, when i was 9 i left my home when i was 9 so that time i didn't have any idea how about monk monk life is so I, then i became monk so but year after year i was studying i was being in the temple sometimes i wanted to go back i had that uh, thoughts a few times but um i didn't know how to go to my home that time so i didn't have money so so i ended up not going to my home so but when i'm think about last 21 years being a monk so 
I am happy the choices that I made. Come to here, it was a big, uh, big choice. Even though speaking in front of you in a different language, it was a big, big choice. So I am happy about my choices. So your choices make you a happy person. Is, am I right? Yeah. So therefore, when you are mindful, you always um, choose the right choice for you. That's why the living in the present moment we call. So like here, it's explaining the drinking a cup of tea, the cup of coffee. You are always doing early in the morning, but you are not paying attention on it. You are just drink it. But if you are paying attention on it, you can enjoy the moment. Therefore, the mindfulness is always every moment. Your choices are make you a happy or unhappy person. In order to f make right choices, you have to be mindful. So I think that's what I got from this little little uh, chapter. The second one, <clears throat> it is uh, the title is concentration brings understanding. The more mindful we are, the more concentrated we are. The word for concentration in Sanskrit. Samadhi means steadiness, non-interruption, not wavering. The object of your concentration may be a cloud, a flower, or your anger. If your focus dies and sometime later is born again, it is not concentration. In the state of concentration, you keep your focus steady even and continues. When our mindfulness and concentration are powerful, we can make a breakthrough and get an insight. Insight brings understanding and has the power to liberate us from ignorance, discrimination, craving, fear, anger and despair. So if this is more uh, complicated for you, maybe um, think about it over and over. And um, so as I mentioned when I, when I was guiding meditation, so our mind is like an ocean. When you go to ocean, the waves one after one, one after one, same like your mind. So thoughts are coming, coming, coming. So you can stop having thoughts. But when you are mindful, you can clearly see the thoughts. So therefore, um, the concentration brings understanding. So think about these two titles. What the first one is attention and happiness are connected. The second one, concentration brings understanding. So um, please read this book. This is very very nice. It has very simple uh, messages. So it might helpful for your daily life. For I, I hope le you learn something. And uh, thanks so much for being here. And we really appreciate always your your commitment, your dedication. So please keep continue your practice. Okay. And thanks so much for being here. <laughs>